Well, hello. This is my review of the Vault Pro American Eagle Series 740 Vault, uh, 40 inches wide, about six feet tall, and uh, just received it yesterday from from Vault Pro. And I have to tell you, it is absolutely stunning to look at. Um, Tony Darling, the proprietor and, and his team, uh, we worked together for about a year to design this and, uh, and he was meticulous about every detail and, and there was nothing that, that, uh, that they said no to. Um, I figured it would be in our family for multiple generations and also wanted to make sure that I had the, the best safe that I could get for uh, not only uh, protecting the, the contents inside from any sort of um, theft type risk, but also um, it just really almost any any fire that got to this house. I, I wanted to make sure that I that I got one that was properly um, designed, and uh, and this of course is is just the about as good as it gets. It's top of the line. It's um the American Eagle. So it's got the quarter inch steel. And then I ended up having another layer of steel put on the inside. Um, mostly just because if it, if this house were to catch on fire, I didn't want the kind of the metal on the outside to heat up. And then, and then whatever's on the inside, maybe the, the contents would technically be protected from the flame itself, but, uh, it, perhaps the, the interior would, um, I, I don't know if it would explode or dust up or whatever. So anyway, I put that extra layer of steel in there just to, to really sort of make sure that if a, if a fire got to it, um, nothing could happen. So anyway, um, this was almost 100% custom designed. I, I came to uh, Vault Pro knowing that they put together custom products and uh and and again they just they they don't know how to say no which is just extraordinary their customer service is is off the charts um i my grandfather was in the navy and i'm in the navy so i wanted something that was a bit of a nautical theme and my uh father-in-law was a was a sailor who had a, a brass ship wheel that we inherited and uh when i called when i called up Tony and said, Hey, I've got this idea about putting together a, a nautical themed vault, um, with, with a, a Navy logo and, and custom color design and, and the brass ship wheel. Um, he, he just immediately said yes. And, and again, I, I just, I can't thank them enough. The color is a lapis blue. It's a metallic blue, uh, fade to black with a gold pinstripe. And, uh, and Tony's idea was the, the boat cleat as a pull handle. I ended up getting the the kind of old fashioned turn dial rather than the digital dial, just being kind of the old fashioned guy that I am. Number one and number two, figuring they they will never fail. So um, that was the that was the theory behind that. This is in our basement. Our basement actually just recently flooded. So for right now, I've I've got it remaining on its on its uh, the the metal rails. Um, it'd be pretty tough, I think, for somebody to to knock this thing. I guess they could knock it over, but they they couldn't do much with it if they if they did. So other than it just being kind of ruined, I think the bigger risk for me is is having the basement flood. So it, it looks like it sits about oh I don't know three to four inches up off the ground, which is a little bit comforting. I I may change that at some point. May end up having it bolted down, which is obviously the the smarter thing to do. Um, anyway, we'll we'll go ahead and, and open it up. and just as, as beautiful as it gets. The, the hinges um, are um, on, the, on the outside, which is, which is the right place for them. This door was was uh these these pins were again i i sent all the sketches to vault pro and and that everything was custom i had them go ahead and do a a cedar lining which to me is it, it does a couple things number one it's very very elegant it just looks nice inside and, and if you're going to spend this kind of money on a on a safe I, I think you know just these little added touches make a difference the other thing 
and this was a surprise to me um, that that Tony did um, just just again that little little added layer of customer service. They actually made the shelves out of teak, which of course is a is a nautical wood that that uh, a, a lot of uh, kind of sailors and, and maritime folks use. So it, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, what can I say? I've got a, a, a notch out here. I've got a longer, um, I've got a longer piece in my collection that that uh, that's able to to hold. And then it's got it's got these these notches here on the left hand side and the right hand side, and then all of these um, kind of smaller teak shelves. The the floor is carpet. And then I went ahead, just even if somebody could get in, I thought, well, maybe for, for small things like any sort of cash or jewelry or whatever, there's this little trap door in here, which is, which is pretty handy. Um, so it just, again, little, little added features. Um, the safe lights up automatically when you open it, which is, which is great. So... Um, I'm very pleased with it. I haven't put anything in here yet. I just took delivery yesterday, and uh, and so far I've just been kind of staring at it because it's it's so magnificent looking. Um, the the bolts are as they as they talk about they they spin so it'd be very difficult to cut through those. And uh, the door is just, it's just as thick and durable as it can be. This is the ship wheel turning it in and out. And, uh, and when you close it, it just, it just sounds, it sounds airtight. Um, one small thing I'd probably do over, it was a small miscommunication. It was much my, my fault as theirs. I would probably have the inlet um, here on the side of the safe rather than in the back. I said um, I said in the back on the right hand side and they 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 ended up the, the language was written so it was in the back on the right hand side so I guess there's a little nuance there that was a bit tricky but anyway it's not the end of the world. I can get to it but um, if I were to do it again I would make sure that it's probably right here and, and I guess the theory behind that is that Unlike most pieces of furniture, you can't uh, you can't really move this if you need to get to anything in the back. Um, so it'd be a little challenging to, to get back there. So it has to be moved out a little bit more, maybe another inch or two than it would if it were on the side. But that's that's pretty minor um, in the in the grand scheme of of just how amazing this this vault is. So anyway, this is just almost as much a piece of furniture. Um, and it's going to last obviously a lifetime and I'm very, very excited and appreciative to Tony Darling and Dick Slater and Jeanette and just the whole team there. They've, uh, anytime I, I pick up the phone, they're, they're quick to answer my questions and spend time with me on the phone. And, uh, that's, that's old school customer service. And that's kind of what I liked. And it's, the other thing is, is it's, it's an all American product built by all American parts. Uh, manufactured parts right here in, in the United States, and that's that's pretty hard to beat. So anyway, that's my review of the Vault Pro American Eagle 740 series, 40 inches wide. Um, I, I suspect this is going to do everything that, that we would need it to do, um, and, and then some. So any sort of burglary or, or fire or anything, there's just, there's going to be very, very few situations um, where, where this is not going to do its job. So thank you to, to Vault Pro. Um, it, it, again, it was about a year in the making and everything was, was custom designed and it's, it's just, just stunning to look at. It's, it's beautiful. The color is beautiful. It's got a metallic high end sheen, um, lapis blue fade to black, got the ship wheel, got the cleat as a pull handle and, uh, just very happy and, uh, and appreciative. So hope that helps. And, uh, and, and good luck with your, your, uh, your next safe purchase.